All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're at this random place in Belgium that has two credits, one being a butterfly, which I've managed to be in Europe for this long and still haven't ridden one yet. <laughs> so hopefully riding that today, as well as the legendary Disco Twister, which you guys will see what I'm talking about here in a second. And then later we'll be going to Bobby Onland, but we gotta hit this up first so we can get the credits. All right, so I'm about to get my first ever butterfly credit. Um, should be fun. That's Jungle Loop, is this? Oh, that's for butterfly. Either way, about to ride this. Apparently, it's free. We walked in and she was like, yeah, you can just go ride that for free. I was like, okay. This and Disco Twister. So like, gonna ride this and then go ride Disco Twister, but there's a couple of people in front of us, so this looks exciting now. Well, I just operated, a, or we just operated a roller coaster. Yeah. Here we go, butterfly. Whoa! Oh. Oh. It's really the most bare bones. Yeah, I know, but it's like kind of fun still. It is. I know the laws of physics don't allow us to go off the end, but I was still kind of like, whoa. I know all about the laws of physics, but a free ride on the butterfly. How about that? Yeah, all of them have cost at least, well, less of they're in parts. Um, last one I did cost, cost like a euro coin to ride. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can't say that was the most exciting coaster ever, but it was very interesting, mm -hmm. kind of cool, and free. Mm -hmm. We didn't pay anything. Mm -hmm. And we got to operate it. All right, now that we've ridden the butterfly for free, somehow, I guess we're gonna go ride Disco Twister for free, which is even better because I'm excited for Disco Twister. And now I don't even have to pay for it apparently. There's a line, but I'm excited. Holy crap. I, I can't believe that this is free. Oh yeah, we're about to do dance party on Disco Twister. Dance party, dance party, dance party, dance party, dance party. Dance party, dance party. Who's in this dark room? That's right, this is just a... Oh yeah. It's dance party time. Dance party. Oh, oh, dance party. Let's go. Dance party, dance party, dance party, dance party. Whoa! Oh my goodness, we're actually spinning. We're actually spinning quite a bit. Dance party, dance party. Oh, oh my goodness. Dance party, dance party. Dance party, dance party, dance party. Oh, dance party. Girl, this is what you do? Go no, for a dance party? Whoa, party. Dance party! Woo! Top 10 dance parties. Number one, Disco Twister. Unfortunately, this is not the best spinning coaster I've ridden. Oh! Oh! Replace all SPF pieces with this. Dance party! Let's go. Well, uh, we've now ridden Disco Twister and the Butterfly. And therefore, we have both credits. And once we got here, we did not pay a dime. So that was entirely free. I found this on the web. Hello, sorry Siri. That was completely free. So that was really cool. Definitely come visit this place if you're in Belgium and going to Bobby Onland. Absolutely, it took us like five minutes and didn't cost anything. So, yeah. All right, now that we got that free park done, we're at a not free park, Bobby Onland. They've got Fury here, where you can vote to go forward and backwards, which will basically just prove that democracy doesn't work. Um, just kidding. And um, yeah. All right, now we made it to the front entrance of Baba Yanland. Yes, that is how you say it. It took me a while to figure that out. I didn't know how to pronounce it, but I finally figured it out. And here's the entrance. I'm waiting for Justin to get his ticket, which I think he just did. And we're gonna go inside. All right, we are in the park. Pretty entrance. Still, even, honestly, even the least impressive European park is still better than a large majority of 
the uh, United States park entrances. Um, I'm not calling this the least impressive, don't get me wrong. Honestly, out of the whole trip, I think, Wallaby Belgium probably had the least impressive entrance. Yeah. This one's really nice as well. We're gonna get that credit soon, Fury. I'm very excited for that. Unfortunately, we gotta ride a crappier, older um, model by the same manufacturer, Gerslauer, which is Typhoon. We've got a powered coaster over here. I do not, their log flume is not a credit here, so that's good. Uh, which we might still ride it, but uh, we're not required to for the credit. So Typhoon's right here at the front. Hopefully it's not a terrible line. I don't know how lines look I today. Didn't, I, didn't, I got a look at it. I, didn't think it was, I don't think it looked too bad. But it looks kind of dead and the operations seem to be going really well so far. So let's go ride Gulp Typhoon. What an absolute abomination of a roller coaster. Uh, that might be my least favorite of the entire trip. I hated Typhoon. Let's ride a freaking good Gerslauer instead. Yeah. Fury. Even if it's not the best one I've ever ridden, it's, it's gonna be way better than Typhoon. So I'm very excited to test out Democracy, okay? It's a very short wait. We might ride it more than once just to see if we get forward and backward. So. If you don't know what I'm talking about, about the voting and democracy on Fury, is that when you get on the train, there's a little button, there's two buttons you have, and you can vote whether you want to go forward or backwards, that everybody on the train votes. They voted to go backwards, because as you see, when they go launch up this, they're going backwards. So, we're going to test out democracy and see if we can get a forward and backward ride on Fury. I would like to at least get one of both. That is the goal. With this weight, it should be pretty easy to get multiple rides. But uh, multiple forward, multiple backwards. Jury's still out on that one. Let's vote. Here we have a sign. I don't know what the words say, but this is showing that you don't know whether you're going forward or back, because you have to vote. That means forward, I guess. But yeah, sit, and those are the little vote buttons right there. Here are the buttons. We're gonna vote backwards. Let's go. I successfully got backwards in the back row. Democracy is awesome. We got backwards in the back row, and it was kind of a rain ride. Like it's already stopped, but we got rain on it too, so that was even cooler. I guess you could say democracy is awesome because on our first ride, we got the back row and we went backwards. My footage of these people was going forwards, but we got backwards, so democracy, good. I've noticed so far that a lot of, at least three of their credits are really close together. Yeah, we're gonna go ride Naga Bay, which is right here. I think this is a Maurer spinner, but like, a weird Bauer, weird Bauer spinner. Not sure, but uh, yeah, Naga Bay. We both need this credit. 
Justin has been here once before and he has like maybe half the credits. So I got six of them. Yeah. We got he we both got one so far and I've got two including Fury. He already had Fury. But uh yeah. Naga Bay, is it a long line? Uh no, not terribly. It's just got bad capacity. So let's go. Well, uh, just rode Naga Bay, and I still haven't figured out why this Mauer has odd looking track. I, I don't know another like Mauer spinner that I can think of that has that track shaping. They're all kind of, uh, I don't know, they're different than this. Unfortunately, that was not the best Mauer spinner on the trip because we went to Fantasia Land and rode both sides of winges, which is fantastic. So this was good. We had an unbalanced car and uh, it was a lot of fun, but not quite the best one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they got Taylor Swift up here. Oh my gosh, they got Patrick and SpongeBob. Oh my goodness. That's so much better. And they have Dora. And Paw Patrol. Oh my goodness. That's pretty cool. And maybe it'll take more lines away from the coasters. Even though there aren't any lines anyway. So we came inside this food court arcade thing and they've got a battle boats inside i've never seen an indoor battle boats before that's cool justin found revolution for us yeah. which i would not have found on my own it would have taken me a while um they revolution is going to be so funny because the trains are so long i think this is the coaster that has the longest trains in the world, if I'm not mistaken. There are like 60 cars in a row on this ride. Yeah, get ready to laugh. I think this is going to be absolutely hilarious. Look at all these gates. We're still going. Maybe it was 60 riders and 30 cars on a train. I don't remember. But we're way up here, and the end of it is way down there. This is all one station. such a long train <laughs> all it did was go around in circles but that was so fun just because of how long the train was speedy bob maybe this place is called bobby yonland because there's two coasters named bob speedy bob and what's the other one bob, bob something express. bob express yeah so maybe that's why it's bob land there's only one of them now. There used to be two. After riding uh, Speedy Bob and Revolution, I came over to get some Smotsbalen, because I saw this earlier and it looked really good. But uh, that place is closed. So I stepped next door and I got a, uh, a ice frappuccino, which is really good by the way. Very good. And um, something I've been lacking majorly on this trip is caffeine. I haven't had a lot of coffee and uh, 
I've been a little bit tired because of it because normally I have a lot of caffeine. So this is definitely helping. But it's very good. I give this like an eight and a half out of 10. Justin went to get food at an actual place where they have like lunch food, like a restaurant. So I went off to get this. And so now I'm gonna go back, meet up with him again and uh, we'll continue riding. Very good. That ride's really cool. It's not a roller coaster. You pedal on it and it stays pretty flat, but that looks like a really cool ride. I want to try that out for sure. I didn't even know they had that here. It kind of, it almost looked like uh, like moose on the loose, but in the air. It's actually one of those pedal rides. All right, whatever that dream catcher ride is, I don't even know the model or anything right now. It looks like it would call my hanging bay. We're gonna go ride it. Let's go ride Dreamcatcher. What model is Dreamcatcher? You know what model Dreamcatcher is? Dreamcatcher, no. This right here? I don't know, we're gonna figure it out and go ride. One, two, three, four. How many Vagomas are in my store? <laughs> Too many. Not, okay, wait. Let me clarify. Too many old Vagomas. I want new ones. This one probably won't be that bad, but it's just a family coaster. Like it's a, it's literally a Vagoma family coaster. I want fly. Hey, you want to ride this? Okie dokie. We'll ride it. Okie dokie. Oh, this is the exit. We can't go in this way. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. We got lucky on okie dokie and managed to skip like a literal whole train or two of people because uh, they were asking for two more and there's two of us so we got a forward on that, that was pretty lucky. Getting it out of the way. Here's kind of the center of Bobby Onlin here. Yeah. You can see almost every coaster, um, that's outdoors at least. Bob Express, we got Fury over there, Naga Bay, back there Dreamcatcher, Okie Dokie. Pretty much the only thing you can't see is Speedy Bobs and can't really see Typhoon, but it's a really nice view, really nice centerpiece of the park here. Water with the fountain and ducks, obviously. Ducks are always a plus. And I have one more coaster to ride. Bob Express. The other Bob coaster here at Bob Ayonland. Bob. All right, here's Bob Express. We made it over here. And uh, one thing I've noticed about this park, almost every coaster here, you walk up to it, like where the station is, and then you gotta walk like a mile to get into the actual line. It's always like the exit or the speedy pass. Um, this was a bad example to show that on because this wasn't very far away. But we're here, we're gonna ride Bob Express, get the last credit of this park, maybe the last credit of my entire trip. It's gonna be a fun time, even though it's just a power coaster. Should be fun. Have you ridden this one? Yeah, I have. Okay. So Justin's ridden this one, so he's got every credit at this park. I have not. This is my last one. Let's go.
now that we've ridden Bob Express, that's all of the coasters we have here today at Bob Bay on Land. So we're gonna go ride Fury a couple more times and we're gonna keep putting democracy to the test. We got backwards the first time. Will we be able to get forwards this next time? We'll see. Yeah, I'd be a good time. I'd be good time with either way though. <laughs> Me too, yeah. No, I'd be fine with going backwards again. Pardon the pun, I'd be content either way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we're testing democracy. Let's see if we can get forwards by voting. Well, these people got forward. That gives me a hope. That gives me hope that I can get one forward. This coaster sits on a throne of lies and democracy is broken. <laughs> I tried to vote for front and it gave us backwards, or forwards I mean. I tried to vote forwards and it gave us backwards. Never trust democracy. Drain the swamp. <laughs> sits on a throne of lies. You know what else is a lie? That you always vote on this coaster. Because there's a part of the line that you can wait in that only goes forwards. What happened to democracy? I don't even know if I'm supporting. Drain the swamp. <laughs> Drain the swamp. Wow. I don't even know if I'm supporting democracy or Lock not supporting up. democracy at this point. It's. <laughs> I literally don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, dang. Collusion or something? Collusion, <laughs> yeah. Know. No, this is fraud. Collusion. Fraud. I don't know. Voter something. Fraud. Massive voter fraud. Massive voter fraud because the coaster voted for us. Anyway, we're going to ride it again in the forwards row because there's an option to just ride it forward. So. All right, can I do it? I guess it's just not meant to be. All right, well, now we know what it's like to rig the votes in a democracy because we went to the, there's a line up there where you can ride literally front, or not front, what, forwards um, without a vote. You can just get on in that line and only ride forwards. So they killed their own democracy. <laughs> but we, uh, we rigged the votes in our favor. So we've ridden Fury three times, twice in the back, or why do I keep saying back versus front? Twice backwards, once forwards. I think I like it better backwards. You too? Yeah, I agree. But um, it's still pretty good forwards. That's definitely one of my top Gerslauers for sure. Um, it's a lot of fun. Maybe not better than Monster at Adventureland, but still pretty good. There's one more ride I want to check out here before we leave for the day. And uh, it's like this weird pedaling track kind of thing. It's not a credit, not a coaster, but it's interesting. I want to try it out. You know, right. We're going to ride this. You get to sit on this and pedal, and it goes around this like monorail track all the way around. It's so funny. I'm ready to ride it. The funny haha -ha pedal ride was fun. It helps you out. You don't actually have to pedal because it slightly goes downhill. It's a lot of fun. So we were actually about to leave anyway. It's kind of a shorter day here at Bobby Allen, but the clouds are angry. The clouds are very angry. And we, we might be about to avoid the rain getting out of here. So, yeah, maybe not good for the people of Bobby Yonlin today. Uh, probably a good thing we're leaving because it's a coming and everything's probably going to shut down. We managed to avoid all storms here in Europe on this trip up until this point. So luckily we're on our way out. Just going to look at some merch here. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, as you can see behind me, with the storms coming in, we're not the only ones leaving. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it here today for Bobby Onland and Mega Spielstad at the beginning of the video and, and Belgium all together as well as this trip. Yeah, so that was, a, that was the end of it. That was it. So we got all the credits here and 
It was a good day. Yeah, I need, uh, I need to come back here and actually enjoy this park for a yeah. little bit because when I came here in 2021, I only had an hour here because everybody else wanted to bull rush it up the Efteling. So, not yeah. saying, not gonna say I can blame them. Efteling's a really dang good park, but still, right. We would like to give, uh, you know, give some more time, take more time to the park. Yeah, it's a nice little park. Mm -hmm. I like it. So, we had a very successful trip and. Uh, this will probably be the last video uh, to release of all of them. So hopefully you guys have seen all the other ones. If you haven't, make sure to go onto my channel and watch all the other videos I put, put out from this Europe trip. And uh, we had a really great time. My first big trip here in Europe, mainland Europe. So mm -hmm. hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a huge thumbs up. It's starting to rain on us. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out all the other Europe content. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And we hope you enjoyed our trip. <laughs> yes. That is special. See ya. See ya.